Good evening and warm welcome to Set of Business, RTV's Prime Time News Bulletin with me, Rukshi Panditaratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. President makes four key appointments and GMOA postpones strike by a week. And today on Top Stories, new officials were appointed to four key positions in the government by President Maitripala Sirisena today. Veteran public servant Austin Fernando was appointed as the new secretary to the president. Former additional solicitor general Kapila Vaidya Ratna is the new secretary of defense. Lieutenant General Mahesh Senanayaka took office as the commander of the Sri Lanka army. And Rohita Bogolagama is the new governor of the eastern province. Government Medical Officers Association announced today that they will postpone the island-wide strike to be launched tomorrow by one week. Addressing the media, GMOA Secretary Dr. Harita Aludge said they have received a number of requests from various respectable people not to go ahead with the proposed strike considering the health crisis prevailing in the country. He also said the responses they are getting from the government are also positive. <laughs> May Katu Tedi, Vishesha Atigaru Janadi Patuma, Garu Agrama Tetuma, May when a hot ekam mateka tavilatino, Ekamahidan Rata Labu Jagrahania. A Jagrahania take a ega tiranat makadi at a game of the Avashakana, Prakashian. Itamat makadinami, Janatmagi Pate, Rata Hamuit Abanoiki in a car. The Rapi Tamatma, Wakim in Kiani, Waki to Urti Samitia theatre, Mera de Janadi Pativaria. Merit Agrama Tivaria, Evagi Savarek in Nona. After Mapi Lasti, Meraji Pratipati Lichavi Muldarmana, Emuldar Maraksha Karagan is Ratian, is Emuldar Mota Anugata Vina Pit Lasti. UNP MP Professor Ashu Marasinghe says the government is considering a number of options to face any strike. The Mayan shade of Pilian, a pigatina, a pig, then Kian, a pilian tick of Yodan, Bartanak, or Teva game, a washata, we have Kunot, we with the Kramapi Kalpanaka Latina, Miss Yelum Kramapi Puikaragana, may alternate moon, then a Janata, a Baradan and a Piarian. Some of the Lanka, Kratapi, a Piasina, be taken a Kromedia Tina, make a moon dinner. Samara Yojana Kalatina, Hamudai, White Durdan, Samara Yojana Vatina. Pitratolim, I do again a la make a visit than the Vivi the Ojanati, Napitam, the Nicker Lemuka the Karanikila, Muka the Tama, Apidakin, Varginim, Katikil, Vargini, Muka the Kinika, the Allah, big reason to Vadino. Raja had it up in the Stavari, Maveni Veda Vargin in our Piva Munadino. Speaking further, the UNP MP said that the government will not abolish the Saitam in order to protect the right for education of the already enrolled students of the Saitam. He said, at present, 1,064 students have enrolled in the Saitam to follow medical studies. Marasinghe said, all the members of the government discussed the Saitam issue at length yesterday and agreed to a common stand. However, Minister Patali Champikaranavaka yesterday said that the government should abolish the Saitam as soon as possible to avert a tragedy. Api Andu Vidirina Pratipati may visandumame Arak Chagran, Cielum, Matia Maturu, and Pakshi Manturu Bendisina. A committed in the Gana may make me prostrate a Munadina, may prostrate with the Nagin. Here I see men pass. Uh, even if Amanga Paud Gelicum at the Prakash and Okra Kila Maturu, Maga Paud Gelicumat, even a Makadaka Kila and Maga Paud Gelicumate. A Piraja Kadina, Piraje, Eka Bad the Wakarna, Sayogita in Vedakarnega, or Eka Bad the Wagakim of Arakshakaran. Api Sahoita Mahosikaran in Apikarane, make up a headily Pratipat take in us, you in a promethe. Let's take a look at more news after this break. Welcome back. Minister Malik Samaravikram says the newly launched roadmap on investment climate reforms will create a better business environment in Sri Lanka. The main aim of this project is to improve Sri Lanka's ease of doing business, ranking to 70 from the present rank of 110. I trust that establishing a well-defined framework for the investment climate with appropriate sequencing of actions and institutional mechanism is essential 
to lead reforms going forward. This roadmap was developed in response to a policy statement made in October 2016. The government of Sri Lanka has recognized that the main factors hindering the improvement of business climate in Sri Lanka are high transaction costs in complying with regulations, a dense web of business regulations which discourage new entrants to the market and creates incentives for informality. As a result, it has obstructed enterprises to grow, undermine productivity, limited investments, and limited access to finance. There have been efforts to introduce investment climate reforms by successive governments. However, these efforts were not sufficiently coordinated. They lacked strategic prioritization and institutional mechanisms to support such reforms. Meanwhile, speaking here, the World Bank country director said improvements in ease of doing business rankings will help Sri Lanka to attract more foreign direct investments. They will be looking at the actual ranking, but more importantly, they are looking at the trend and the trend over a number of years. They may even use the results to make a prediction of the following year's ranking. This is what they call in the International Baccalaureate the predicted score, which is key to whether or not a student is admitted in the university. So it is very important to not only do well in one single year, but it may actually be more important to show progress over a number of years. It's a proven fact that unless the investment climate is favorable, investors will look elsewhere. Sri Lanka has potential to show that its predicted score is a positive one. To do this, it must stay on the reform path. Consistency and determination to deliver high quality reforms will earn credibility. Let's take a look at stocks after this break. Welcome back. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended in a mixed note today. The All Share Price Index gained 1.07 points to close at 6,734.13, and the SNPSL 20 index dropped by 8.89 points to close the session at 3,920.59. The turnover was 509.2 million rupees, and 32.5 million shares were traded. Let's take a look at today's forex rates. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.